everyone today in this video we are going to do the chapter 10 of the physics that is electromagnetism electromagnetic in electromagnetism that is, there is first or state experiment or state explain that when we will close the circuit and the current will when current will flow from a to b and when compass will be placed below the setup then it will needle the compass needle will north no, needle of the compass will show towards the west side we have i have written here and when it will be reversing from b to a current will be reversing from b to a and the compass will be remaining at the below then it will be the north needle of the compass of the north pole will be showing towards the east side down side downside will be showing and when we will place this compass above the setup and the current will flow from a to b then it will the needle of the compass will show again from downward side because the current is reversed and sorry current is in the same what we say normal direction but the compass is placed above and so it will be showing the direction towards the east that is downward direction and when we will reverse the current flow of current b to a and the compass is above then it will show the deflection towards the west side that is upper side this was the or state experiment explanation and now we have you have to learn this one completely this is the current flow flow of the current direction of the flow of current and this is the place where we have placed the compass and this is the direction of the compass now note when we will increase the current then the deflection of the needle will also increase and the strength it, the magnetic field strength of the magnetic field will be also increasing now magnetic field lines in straight line for this we are using the right hand thumb rule to measure the magnetic field lines in a straight line so thumbs points the direction of the current and fingers encircles the direction of the magnetic field suppose this is the wire and uh, current is passing upward direction so this up thumb thumb will be showing the above part this thumb will be showing the this thumb this will be showing the direction of the current and this one these fingers are showing the direction of the magnetic field so this will be showing uh, the what we say inwards in the direction of the what we say current uh, magnetic field to is suppose this is the wire the direction is above we uh, the direction of the thumb will be showing the uh, current so the correction i will be direction of the current is above and the, so the magnetic field will be what we say so the magnetic field will be in this direction because these fingers are showing this one so this will be the direction so right hand thumb rule we use to find the direction of the magnetic field in a straight line wire now magnetic field lines in circular loop wire so in circular loop wire we are using the clockwise rule or the anti-clockwise 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 is the north pole and the clockwise is the south pole so near the center of and there are some conclusion in this that near the center pole loop suppose this is the what we say magnetic field At, this is the at, suppose this is the center normal and this was the magnetic field of the circular so the at the near the center of the circle loop magnetic field lines are nearly parallel each other yes there is pair, this the nearly at the center both magnetic line magnetic field lines is parallel to each other and at the center only magnetic field lines are along the axis of the loop axis of the loop and normal to its plane yes magnetic field lines appears to be outgoing outgoing so when it will be outgoing means it will when it will be outgoing means anti clockwise that will be north pole and when that will be north pole outgoing north pole outgoing north pole and when it will be incoming means that going getting in means when it will be when it will be what we say getting in when it will be getting in that will be the south pole so this will be the south pole when it will be get getting in that will be the south pole outcoming north pole getting in south pole outcoming uh, what we say north pole and the getting get in south pole know the north pole anti clockwise is the north pole and the clockwise is the south pole this is the important part now the electromagnet it is the artificial magnet at electromagnet is a temporary magnet strong is a temporary strong magnet made by passing the current in a coil bond around a piece of soft iron we know that we know electromagnet from the class eight only so, and the usage of it is horse there are two types of electromagnet uh, u-shaped horse uh, electromagnet and i-shaped uh, electromagnet but that those are reduced so uses are horse so mag so magnet used in gadgets like dc motor ac generator and the mostly in electric bell electromagnets are mostly uses in electric bell now ways of increasing the magnetic field of an electromagnet how can we increase the magnetic field of the electromagnet increasing the number of turns of coil binding in the solenoid or increasing the current passing through it we can increase the 
magnetic field of this is mm, electromagnet not the permanent magnet permanent magnet is a naturally occurring magnet made of steel but not strong as compared to the electromagnet and it is not strong that much so uses its uses are electric uses in electric meter that is galvanometer voltmeter ammeter and it also used in the magnetic compass and now the means more uses of the electromagnets are there the uses of the electromagnets for lifting and transporting the heavy iron scrap yes magnet will attract the iron and so it will lift up and transport it easily so for loading the furnace with the iron for separating iron from ores and debris and for removing the piece of iron from the wounds these were the uses of the electromagnets you will easily understand by reading only and i will be putting the note this notes in the description so you can go through there also now the difference between the electromagnet and the permanent magnet electromagnet is made up of soft iron and permanent magnet is made up of steel and it is temporary it provides the produces the temporary magnetic field and it produces the permanent magnetic field and the magnetic field of, uh, can uh, so and now the magnetic field of the electromagnet can be strengthened and it can be changed but magnetic field of the permanent magnet cannot be changed the how much it is strength that much it will be remaining only and it is very strong magnet electromagnet is very strong magnet permanent magnet is not so strong magnet and its polarity can be reversed by reversing the flow of current uh, electromagnet polarity can be reversed by flow uh, by reversing the flow of current of the uh, current and polarity in the permanent magnet polarity cannot be removed Re sorry polarity cannot be reversed and if this electromagnet can be easily demagnetized by removing the uh, what we say connection of the current uh, flow of the current but in this permanent magnet cannot be easily demagnetized it cannot be easily demagnetized now the lorentz law lorentz law said that and this one is important for the coming part vvi the direction what said lorentz lorentz law say the direction of induced emf or current is such that it opposes the cause means direction of induced the opposes the cause which produces it we will be seeing in now are coming now force on current carrying conductor in magnetic field now magnitude of the force what it will be f will be i b l we have to learn this the i is the current b is the strength of the magnetic field and l is the length so current uh, what we say its uh, si unit is newton per ampere per meter or tesla or weber per weber per meter square and for this we are using the for finding the direction of the force of conduct carrying of current carrying conductor we use the fleming's left hand rule left hand rule left hand rule thumb rule no don't get confused the here the left hand rule only not thumb rule so from for this we are using this symbol this one this upper part is for force uh, what we say thumb is for the force and four finger is for the what we say field magnetic field and this one is for the this one is for the current keep it in mind and how it will we will find we will be seeing in the some other examples now electromagnetic induction now the electromagnetic induction it is the phenomena in which emf is induced in the coil if there is a change in the magnetic flux in linked with the coil so in in the magnetic flux which is linked with the coil if it changes then there will be induction of emf is done so emf will be induced when there will be change in the magnetic flux that is linked with the coil now our experiment is done that is a solenoid is taken and a galvanometer is placed here and now uh, what we say uh, magnet is taken and it is moving towards the solenoid when it moves towards the solenoid according to the lorentz law it says that lorentz law says that direction of induct induced emf direction of induced emf or current is such that if it opposes the cause so it says that it opposes the cause so direction of the what we say induced emf is north towards uh, moving towards the solenoid so when it moving towards the solenoid uh, here is the south pole when there will be south pole then only it will be moving towards it attracting towards it so we have to oppose it oppose its cause so it, if we will place here the south pole it will attract so it will we have to place opposite of that so we will uh, place when it will moving towards it we will place the north only uh, we, then so so it will be here the north pole only so when will be north pole then when it will be moving towards it then they here will be the north pole because then only it will oppose that causes so when it will be moving towards it here will be the north pole and so it will be the so the galvanometer will be showing the direction towards the right and when in other case that when the this 
magnet will be taking away from here solenoid then it, it is going away from it so for attracting here it will be uh, used the north then only uh, if we will use, if here is the north pole then for uh, repel if it is already uh, rippling here so for opposing it we have to attract it for attacking we have to use the opposite of that that is north here is placed so we have to use the south because it is rippling we have to attract it so north here uh, here will be no uh, here is north so here will be south then only it will attract so then only it will be opposing that call so when here will be north here will be the south left and so it will and so the galvanometer compass showing towards the direction of towards the left and now in other case now the polarity is changed south pole is here uh, towards the solenoid and the north is away from that now south pole is here and it is moving towards the solenoid then it is moving towards the solenoid means it is attracting now we have to repel it so we have to use uh, what we which pole should be here that it will repel if it will be north then it will attract so we have to oppose the cause so we have to use the south only south pole then when south south pole will be uh, then only so here will be the south pole then only it will oppose the what we say cause so, and the direction of the galvanometer so is the left direction and, and similarly uh, now the pole is moving uh, what we say magnet is moving to away from it means it is means that uh, the uh, this here the south pole here the north pole and it is moving away from it means it's a uh, rippling from the solenoid it is rippling so we have, we have to oppose that cause means it is rippling so now we have to attract it and it, here the south pole is here so what which pole will be attracting uh, this magnet towards the solenoid we, if we will place south then it will more ripple so we have to play, uh, if so we will place when so when we will place the north pole then only it will attract towards it and then it will avoid that cause of rippling so we placed here the north pole and so it, the galvanometer compass shows the direction towards the right and the yes galvanometer shows the direction towards uh, shows the direction in which the current is flowing so always the current is flowing in the towards the north if here is north then direction will be here if north is here then direction will be this side keep it in mind now the conclusion from the above experiment Current flows, current flows only when there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet. Current will only flow when there will be always relative motion between the coil and the magnet. And the direction of current is reversed if the direction of the motion is reversed. When the current direction will be reversed, sorry, when the motion of the, what we say, that uh, coil and magnet will be reversed, then the current will be itself reversed. Now current in the coil, current in coil in, it can be increased by the increasing the number of turns by rapid motion of the magnet and by using the strong magnet also and now the faraday's explanations what faraday explains faraday explains that emf will be induced whenever there is change in the magnetic flux interlinked with the coil so we have seen the induction in the electromagnetic induction and same thing the faraday's explanation explains now again the second point is emf induced is directly proportional to the rate of change in the magnetic flux link with the coil and one formula is there emf is equal to number of turn into change in the magnetic flux link with the coil by time learn this one if you can now the direction of the induced emf and yes for direct for finding the direction of the induced induced emf we use the Fleming's right hand rule Fleming's right hand rule in this in this case there will be uh, this will be also same upper one will be just for uh, will be in play force uh, in the left and there this thumb was the for, uh, force now it will be for motion and this one will be for the magnetic field and this one will be for the induced current now we can measure uh, the, what we say now we can find the direction of the induced EMF we will be seeing this Fleming's right uh, just know this one this is the main and from this only we will be finding out the direction and now the AC generator and the DC generator in AC generator magnetic energy is converted into electrical energy and DC generator electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy AC generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction DC generator works on the principle of force acting on the current conductor current carrying conductor placed in magnetic line now AC generator current of mag magnitude varying yes AC is AC generator current is varying its magnitude is varying but current of current of DC generator its magnitude remains constant AC AC generator is getting from the AC mains or the generators and DC generator is getting from the battery or the cell it reverses its directions periodically AC generator is reversing the direction periodically but DC generator always flows in one direction in the circuit 
now with this friends we have come to the end of this chapter and the electromagnetism chapter is also completed and the pdf of the notes will be provided in the description you can check them thank you